Morgan. I'm Harrison. We are very sweaty. <laughs> so. <laughs> Give me a hug. Don't touch me. So hi, this is Morgan Police. We're a bunch of travel channel. We travel the world even though we're completely broke. We're still in Malta. We've been in Malta our last few videos. Today is Festa Day. So we're going to go party. Festas happen in Malta in the summer. Every weekend, all the different villages celebrate their patron saints of that specific village. Today, I think, is St. Peter and Paul in Nadir in Gozo. Before we go to the Festa in Nadir today, we decided to come here at Ramla Beach because there is this beautiful enclave cave at the top of this mountain. and. We couldn't miss it. Like yeah, it's, it, got great it's, views. it's such a, a beautiful place, but it is a big hike to get here, especially if you take the wrong turn and go all the way down to the beach, and then you have a person tell you you shouldn't go from the beach straight to the mountain. And then when you get here, you find out you actually could do that. We were told down at the beach that we couldn't walk up from the beach, but I saw people doing it. So the tourist person lied to me, or she said it was too dangerous to do so. So doesn't know who we are, <laughs> Skyrim mountain hikers. Yeah. We walked all the way down this huge ass hill to the beach, thinking that from there we could get to the cave. We were wrong. So we're walking back up this huge ass hill to go to the cave. I'm trying to hurry because we don't want to miss the festa. It's so hot. I need a monster. It seems cloudy today, which I would think would be better, but I think it's actually just making it really humid. It's really humid and I'm just sweating more than I have any other day here. Ugh. So we're not actually staying in the dirt for the festival today. We're staying in Shlendi Bay, which is on the opposite side of Goza. We're staying in the island of Goza, by the way, in Malta. And usually, because we're budget travelers, we would usually just walk. We would just walk like the two hours to get to Nadir for the festa and for where the beach is. But because if you saw our last vlog, we walked all the way from like a huge big walk like that again, two hours in the sun. And we went to the beach all day in a different island. And then we walked back in the hot sun and we got so sunburned <laughs> and Harrison has blisters. So I was thinking it's maybe not worth it to walk in the hot sun before we party all night. So we took a bus, we bit the bullet, we took a bus here. Tips if you're going to Malta. The bus tickets are always two euro, like no matter where you go. And your tickets are good for like two and a half Half hours meaning if you buy one bus and you get off and you show the next bus your receipt you can just ride that bus for free and I think that's good for about two and a half hours so pretty sweet deal but yeah now we're in this cave we're gonna take some pics take some videos enjoy the beautiful views of a Ramla Bay and then we're gonna head to the dirt and party up Sweat like this since I've had to bring your freaking bag up that hill in Croatia. <laughs> Killing me. My poor baby. Would you like a photo? Yeah, yeah. So we made it to Nadir. Actually, we met some friends in that cave and they were so kind to give us a lift here. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. It's very sweet of you. So we made it to Nadir. We didn't even have to walk the whole way and we came here immediately. We found a marching band over there. I don't know if they're practicing. They've stopped marching and playing now so maybe it was practice um, you can see the beautiful decorations are already up for the festa tonight but I think we're here just a little early it is 6 45 the fireworks are supposed to start at 8 so nothing is really happening right now we're a little early but that's okay I want it to be early hopefully there are some food stalls somewhere if I can get something to eat I really want to try some more Maltese food and beer and wine or whatever so we're fat <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Is, it's cheat day it's cheat day it's cheat day Nutter, <laughs> that's kind of weird, I just turned around like, hello. <laughs> Nutter is super beautiful. The fest is not actually starting yet, but everyone's getting set up. People are starting to get their food stalls going and everything's kind of getting ready. It's kind of exciting in the air. And it's just very beautiful. It's such a beautiful little town. I love that every town has their own festa and celebrates their patron saints. It's really cool. and. We don't really have that kind of thing where we live back at home. It's not that much community. You know, it's like Christmas and that's all we celebrate. But here it's like every weekend there's something to celebrate. It's really, really cool and you have a lot of pride in your town. Good on you, Malta. This is really cool. Really excited to be here. If you guys are enjoying the video, please consider joining our Patreon. It has a lot of cool benefits for you guys. You can find out more about it in the link in the description down below. Be 
first purchase of the night. We got some water, some Pepsi, and we got some of this like multi snack thing. So we met this really adorable kid, and he really sold us on these like Maltese nougat. There's a lot of flavors in here, so let's try these Maltese nougats. Pulling out the first one, pretty sticky. Said it was orange flavor. We're gonna give it a go. I'm not sure if you're gonna like it, Morgan, but I love it. I'm not like a sweet tooth kind of person. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness and consistency. It's really good. You wanna try a bite? Mm, yeah. Mm, it's good. You like it, yeah? It's light. Yeah, exactly. It's like salt water taffy, but not sticky. So I'm sure you've noticed that in the bottom right corner, we've been adding a tally on how much we've been spending. Us being budget travelers, that's exactly what we do. We're very transparent about what we spend. If you've watched our other vlogs, you've known that I've been adding what we spend between vlogs to this budget. So I'm gonna do that right now. We spent 41.37 on groceries. ceremony thing that happened. I'm not entirely sure the details of like what things mean, but I know that this this festa is for Peter and Paul and they had like this big statue of Peter and Paul and they kind of paraded it around with all like the church people. <laughs> and they're very religious and I don't know what everything means, but it was cool. Like, every five minutes there's fireworks going off. It's really cute. Everybody's very, very dressed up here, but it's like a range. There's like church going dresses and then there's like clubbing dresses. So it's like your nicest dress, whatever it may be, I guess, come here and do that. I saw on Instagram there's like a club here. I don't know, it's, it's, so, it's definitely like a family atmosphere right now. We're gonna go around, see some stuff, get a drink, get some food probably. I'm hoping for some Maltese food. Yeah, let's go see more of this stuff. Let's go do that now. So you can't see the fireworks from the center of the dirt, but if you go outside of it, there's a beautiful point over the ocean, the surrounding towns, and then you can see the fireworks in a very peaceful setting. the bartender for a good Maltese beer and he gave me this called Sisk. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty standard. Very light. I like it. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Can I try a sip? Yeah. Yeah, still not a fan of beer. <laughs> ah. So we wanted to come here to try some Maltese street food, but uh, we looked online and it said that there was gonna be some vegetarian Maltese street food, me and Morgan being vegetarians. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any. We went to every street vendor and they didn't have any, except for one person had this Maltese dessert, which you're gonna try after we have some of this delicious looking pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Well, that pizza was the worst pizza I've ever eaten, but I was so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. It's like 10.30 right now. All day, didn't eat. And we walked so much, and I droned and filmed and everything. I'm a big baby who needed pizza, all right? Even if it was bad, I was eating it anyway. We got dessert. They were... Don't squish them. They were 40 cents each. I believe the lady called them Amaretz. They're very hot. Holy crap. She said that they were vegetarian. They have honey in them. What else? I don't know. I don't know either, but she said they were vegetarian. So they're Maltese Gozo 
treat. Pretty good. Kind of like a fried dough boy with a hint of honey. It's good. Definitely needs ice cream. So she mentioned that the nice woman at the stall who makes these said that I think in Malta you're supposed to put like ice cream on top, but in Gozo they don't do that because they want it to be lighter. She said it was too much to bring the ice cream because she, her stands like she would have to have another thing. Oh, is that what she meant? Because I, I yeah. thought it was like in Gozo, like they don't do that because it'd be too much, too heavy of a treat. Maybe, I don't know. If you're from Gozo or Malta, let us know. Because... But ice cream would make this better. Yeah. It's good though. Yeah, it is really good. Alright, so it's about midnight now and we are going to head home. We are walking home, so that is about two hours to get to our Airbnb, which is in Shalendi. I mean, probably would have taken a bus, but there's no buses right now because it's too late. So. And we don't have enough money for a taxi, even if we wanted to, but we don't want to because we're both your traveler. Wish us luck. <laughs> Two hour walk home in the dark. Anyway, so this was awesome. It was really cool to go to a village festa. It was it was really, really nice. People uh, kind of take it seriously. They get all dressed up and fancy. The fireworks are nice. Everything is like really nice. It's not the same as like a fair back home in America. It's it's a total different vibe. It's, mm. it's definitely like a step up from like a fair, a few steps up from a fair. Like oh, it's yeah. much fancier. Something that I wanted to mention. This is our last video in Malta, isn't it? Mm. So, yeah, I think it is. Maltese people are just super nice. Like everywhere we've gone, everyone we talk to, we talk to people on the streets, we talk to people in the beaches and wherever, out to eat and stuff. And people are just so, so nice. They're so helpful. I mm. messaged people on Instagram asking them tips about coming to this festa and they were so helpful. I even lost Harrison today. We had a little drama. We had miscommunication and he went off to film. I didn't know where he was. People just let me use their phone to call him and, and they were very helpful about it. Like mm. they're people here in Malta are so, so nice and welcoming and friendly. And I just want to say thank you to all Maltese people who Absolutely. are watching. You guys are freaking awesome. Like seriously, we even talked to like this old man that had like, had just started talking to us. And we just had like this nice conversation. He talked about how he used to live in America and how his, his grandchild is, is in school. And it was like this really cool experience to like actually talk to a local and like learn about the culture here. We had a lot of experiences like that. So mm. thank you guys, Maltese you. people. <laughs> and thank you, Malta. That's it for our Malta series. We'll see you next in Paris. So please hit subscribe if you're not already to see the last more budget travel videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye. See ya. Oh, Morgan. Can't let random cats in here. No, 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 no,